Today we're also going to look at uh, color replacement. Okay, this is a very useful tool. And we're going to see how it works. Okay, uh, open the image called Red Balloon. You'll find it on Moodle as well. Mine is here. And we're going to, in this case, change the color of this balloon. It's uh, just before uh, we start. The color replacement tool is under the brush tool. Yours is probably like this at this point. All you need to do is click on it, hold it, and you'll find color replacement tool. The great thing about this, this tool is that it preserves, um, for example, highlights, shadows, luminosity, okay? And those things you can ch change from here. For example, what do you want to change? Color, saturation, hue, luminosity. It's, it's a great tool. Don't get me wrong. What we're going to do today can be done with, in other ways as well. Okay, this is just to show you how the color replacement tool works for, you know, like efficient, small changes, which sometimes you might need. Uh, just a word of caution, don't go crazy with this and avoid ever in your life, you know, producing work, which is like, I don't know, a black and white photo with uh, the girl's flower in red. Okay, avoid these things, they are super kitsch. But usually they're done in, in this manner. Okay, just this is more so you know how to use the tool. Okay, Mela, let's set it to color in our case. Mela, uh, what we can do, because you'll notice, Sarah, that when I do this, it will change, it will read the edges of the image. But you'll also notice, Sarah, what's happening here. Like, okay, it changed, but it's changing part of the sky as well. So what you can do, either be super careful. Okay, or else you can select the object prior to this. Mela, let's select the object. In our case, it's the balloon. It's set to do that. You can either use quick selection to do it quickly, or since I have the new version now, I'm going to use the object selection, okay, which is very comfortable and it will sort of recognize the object by. Uh, by this distinguishing the colors basically the object selection tool works like this which is great okay well in this case this is selected and let's go on the color replacement Mela, um for color replacement you would need to choose which color you want i'm not going to make to choose blue because so you'll see the difference okay between this guy let's choose for example uh, let's leave it green so you can see What's actually happening? And that's it. Okay, you'll realize, for example, Lara, the object selection tool didn't completely recognize everything. Like I said before, uh, the, this is at the end of the day uh, a program uh, trying to recognize, you know, the differences. For him, this is not the string of a balloon, it's just some colors. Okay. So, for example, before you actually do the object selection, just make sure that your selection, oh, sorry, the, before you do the color replacement, make sure that the selection is actually done well. Okay? Voilà. Control D to remove the selection, and you have your color replacement. Notice that everything, like the quality of the color, got uh, preserved. Okay? Try this exercise and submit it with the, with the change. Like I said, be careful of these things. Make sure that your selection is done properly. And you can also try this, okay, as another exercise, but it's, it's the same thing, all right? Uh, there's a folder called door on Moodle. Try it with that as well, like change the color of the door and, and the window to something, just to get you practicing, basically. Okay, that's it.